Hey everybody, so this is going to be a quick look and review of the LSB two column verse by verse Bible. Now this Bible is in faux, faux leather, it's black faux leather, and it's a non-premium Bible. And I'm the type of person that I like non-premium Bibles because I tend to use really use my non-premium Bibles, underlining, highlighting, circling words, doing word um, word studies, and, and just really writing in the margins, and really using my non-premium Bibles. And this is a very good, very good non-premium everyday carry Bible for the size that it is. So, as I said before, this comes in black. Well, this, this is a black faux leather. As you can see, it has white pages. These are white pages, which makes it a good candidate for maybe buying some Ranger archival ink and putting blue or green or black archival ink on here. I may do that. I may not. We'll see. It comes with only one ribbon, it's gold, it's double-sided, really nice, and it's placed really well, as you can see right there, it's placed really well, right in, the, right in the center. I like how the pages are curved, like this, which is really nice. This is Smithsown, and it is glued, both. I've seen the, um, I've seen the, um, there's a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can actually see it, but you can see there's a little bit of glue there, and you can see the signatures. So that also tells you that it is uh, Smithsown. You open it up, and you can tell it's paste down liner, which is okay because it's non premium, remember. You come to a cardstock page, come to a, um, a blank page right here, and this page always gets wrinkled. Let's go to the title page. Okay, there's the title page. And from the title page, we go to the forward. Well, we go to the um, copyright page right there. 316 Publishing Steadfast Bibles. And this is the Legacy Standard Bible. Forward. Several pages of the forward. I would highly recommend you reading this if you haven't read anything about the LSB before. After the forward... We get into explanation of the general format for this edition of the Bible, for this edition of the LSB two column, verse by verse. Here we come to table contents, Old Testament title page, and we go right into Genesis. So here we are in Genesis. You can see it's two column. It's verse by verse. It is ten point font. And it is line matched, so it really makes it really great to read. The only thing a little bit that um, I don't like about this Bible is the letting is a little bit small. That is, that's, that's the space between the lines. It makes it a little difficult to underline, and the words are kind of cramped a little bit, which makes it a little bit difficult to circle the words. But other than that, I really like this Bible. I really like the format and the way this Bible is laid out. It is really nice. Oh, and if I didn't mention, the paper is uh, 32 GSM. But when we get to the Psalms, this is what the poetry section looks like. And it's basically the same, two column format, verse by verse. And here after Malachi, at the end of Malachi, we come to the New Testament title page. We come to Matthew. And this is how Matthew looks. Two column format, verse by verse. This is the black letter Bible. So Jesus' words were being read. So this is what it looks like in Matthew 5. 
Now, as you can see at the end, not of every page, but on some pages, you have footnotes. And these footnotes uh, basically help explain like the weights and measurements and currencies and that kind of stuff. So that's what the footnotes are throughout, um, throughout the Bible. Like here it is in Amos, another example of the footnotes. So it's very, very limited footnotes throughout this Bible. When you come to the end of Revelation, you will see that there's monetary units, weights and measurements, and then you come straight into several pages of, I guess you could call it um, dot matrix maybe, dot matrix pages, and I think there are 12 pages. And then you come to cardstock page, another blank cardstock page, and then you come after that. You will come to the end of the Bible, paste down liner in the back. This is what the back of the Bible looks like. So this is the LSB double column verse by verse Bible. If I remember correctly, it's nine and a half inches long, six and a half inches wide. Let me get my ruler here just to make sure. It is going to be, oh, I'm sorry, eight and three quarters long. Five and three quarters wide, yes, five and three quarters wide, and it's going to be one and a half inches thick, and you can see it's stitched on the perimeter all the way around, but anyway, this makes it a very good, handy portable Bible. Your everyday, this could be your everyday carry. So, if you like the LSB, Legacy Standard Bible, and you want to go back to the two-column format, two-column style, I would highly recommend this. This is a great, great carry Bible. This would be a great Bible to carry with you everywhere you go. So, I would highly recommend this Bible, if you like the LSB translation. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day. God bless. And I hope you found this video on the LSB two column, verse by verse, informative. And also, one more thing, if I, if I did not mention the font, is, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but the font is a 10-point font, which makes it very, very readable. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Take care.